Yeah, it was on this date in the 2000 season that them Reds GM Jim Bowden pulled off a blockbuster, bringing Ken Griffey Jr. home to the Queen City in exchange for Mike Cameron, Brett Tomko, Antonio Perez, and Jake Meyer. Mike Cameron turned into a star, certainly in uh, Seattle. And Tomko had some big uh, days, too. It was a bunch of major league players. Yeah. That's what's so different. I mean, yeah, Brett Tomko pitched for another decade after yeah. that deal, uh, it seemed like. But but we'd all agree that, look, Ken Griffey Jr.'s biggest years were in Seattle, that question. And when you look at his baseball reference page, Keith Costas, uh, 13 years in Seattle and a ton of stolen bases, 167. Nine years in Cincinnati, he stole nine bases. Hamstring. In his career. Yeah, and, you know, the legs yeah. just failed him, and they didn't hit for as much power, didn't drive in as many runs. It just wasn't as good as everybody thought once he got to Cincinnati. But, you know, still, without question, Hall of Fame career. And this was a big day, man. I remember that day very vividly thinking, wow, back to Cincinnati, this is an amazing baseball story. No doubt, an amazing story, and we're going to celebrate the anniversary as we have been the last couple weeks with a little trivia. We'll keep it more, mostly Mariners-focused for Harold's purposes, give you guys a fighting chance with some of these questions. We've got four of them. First one, Ken Griffey Jr., one of seven players to appear in more games with the Mariners than Harold. Can you name the other six? Wow. Edgar? Yes. JB, JB and her? Yes. Valley? No. Mm -mm. Uh, um... Uh, we're missing somebody. Who. Kyle who. Seeger. Yes, that's one I thought you would miss. Uh, oh, Ichiro. Obviously. Ichiro, yes. Um, I was going to say Brett Boone. I mean, uh, yeah, Brett, Brett Booney, no. No, nah, he wasn't there. Uh, one of them's appeared on the show this week already. Alvin Davis. Yeah, yeah right yeah. in front of you, H. And then we got one more. Ken Phelps. Beautiful Phelps. Beautiful Phelps. War of the Tools of Ignorance. Dan Wilson. Yes, Dan Wilson. Dan Wilson. There you go. Oh. All right, we got them all. That was a good start, guys. Second question here. Ken Griffey Jr. drove in seven runs during the nine All-Star games he played, and 13-time All-Star played in nine of them, seven RBIs. Can you name the other five living players with at least seven RBIs in the Midsummer Classic? Hard question, but I think you can reason your way through it. Piazza? Willie Mays. Willie Mays, yes. Um... Oh, I think of the old guys that played in a bunch of them. There. Or a guy that played, never missed games, was an all-star every year. Tony Perez? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. uh, Cal Ripken. Cal Ripken, there you go. Gotta be him. Yount? No Yount. Brett? Uh, no Brett. Quit guessing. Please. How about oh. the only Grand Slam in all-star game history? Uh, that would have been four Lynn. right there. Freddie Fred Lynn. Lynn, that's one of them. How about maybe the best hitter in the history of baseball? Ted Williams? Carney Lansford? He's got more home runs than anybody. Barry Bonds. Maybe you're familiar oh, with this Barry work. Barry Bonds. Oh, yeah. And one that. other guy. You guys have talked about him a lot. You liked him. Kind of a forgotten star of his era. Played in L.A. Played in L.A. Uh, that's probably a trick question we're talking about. Steve Garvey. Area. Steve Garvey. There oh, okay. you go. Yeah. Also had seven RBIs in the All-Star oh, yeah. game. There Garvey. is the list. Garvey. Time All-Star MVP, Steve Garvey. Yeah. Fred Lynn. Fred Lynn was a stud, folks. Yeah, he was. Absolutely. We talk Hall of Fame a lot on this show, guys. You think about in their era, uh, perennial all-stars like Garvey and Lynn driving in runs with the best players. Yeah, he was he was great. I, it, so overlooked. I love these questions. They need to go man. back and look at that whole generation again. Some good players. All right, third question. I will be very impressed if you come up with these three names. But Ken Griffey Jr. and Ichiro Suzuki, responsible for 20 of the 24 gold gloves won by Mariner outfielders. Who are the other three players that have won gold gloves as an outfielder for the Mariners? Kyle Lewis. Did nope. he win one? No, he didn't. Buhner? Yes, Buhner is one. Got, got to be one. Mike Cameron? Yes. I would think Now, this so. third one is a stumper. I will be very impressed if you remember who won one in 2010. So it's probably a guy who was only there for a year or two. Um, Venezuelan born. That is the only clue I will give you. Bobby Abreu never played there. He no. did not. He did not. Uh, I, I, I see him. I can't, I can't think of his name, but I see him. Richard the Hidalgo I'll never played. I'll give you his initials there. F G. Yeah, uh, Gutierrez. There you go. Oh, hey, that is Gutierrez. very impressive. Yeah. Very, wow. very impressive. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. I played with Bobby Abreu and Caracas. No, you didn't. I thought Franklin Gutierrez would win more. All right, final question. We got one Cincinnati one since we are talking about his trade to Cincinnati. Who was the only player other than Griffey and Adam Dunn to lead the Reds in homers during Junior's nine seasons there? So a single season leader in homer for the Reds, not named Ken Griffey or Adam Dunn. That's Sean Casey? No, he no. was up there. He finished second a couple one. years, but Eddie not Tomancy? Casey. Nope. 
This is a man who I believe watches the show almost every day. Watches the show? That's nobody. <laughs> Including us. <laughs> I, I would say, uh, not... Uh, uh, he didn't occasionally play chimes in on your phone, Maddie, with a text or two about the program. And he was Boone? In Aaron Boone, Matt. Wow. Aaron Boone, not 26 Brett. home runs in 2002. Wow. Five of them, Matt, you might recall, were against the Padres, including a three-homer game against the Friars when I, you were there. Yeah, I do recall this. Oh, man. He wore out the he wore out everybody. There's Brett Tomko. <laughs> Full <laughs> circle. Bringing it back. And look, uh, this is old riverfront, right? You can see they're building the, building the new the place stadium. behind. Yeah. Remember that remember weird that. year, how it just – it was such a weird year of baseball. He got him twice in this, three times this game, or what? Was it Tomko all three? Got to go back and check on that. Yeah, he had five that against Tomko the Pods right that there, year, so though. At least three two. in that game. O2 Pods, not real strong. That was fun, Keith. Good that looks stuff. like Cubs uniforms. They did kind of. Yeah. That whole franchise was so wow. confused back then. Let's